Hello wonderful people, it is Genevieve and in this video I'm going to show you how you can customize your app icon either on your iPhone or your iPad. And it's really easy to do, all you need is to make sure that you have the latest iOS update. At the time of filming this video it is iOS 14. And make sure to stick around until the end because I've created a set of icon that is totally free to download and that you can then use to create your own custom app icons. So let's jump in! I will be using an iPad for this demo, but it's just because the screen is bigger and it's easier to film. But it's the exact same steps for the iPhone, so feel free to just follow along with your phone. The only thing you will need is this Shortcuts app here, which is an app from Apple. So if you don't have it, maybe you deleted it, you can just go back to the App Store, search for Shortcuts, and you should be able to download it for free. You also will need to have some pictures you want to use for the icons. And if you don't, make sure you stick around until the end of this video, because I will show you how to create your own using the free icon templates that I've created. So the first step to customize your icon is to open up this Shortcuts app here. So just click on it. And you will go to this All Shortcuts section here. And you can see I already have a few here. So all you have to do is click on the plus icon, which is going to open up a menu that might seem a bit intimidating. And all you have to do is click on scripting here and then select open app. It's going to open up a menu in which you can click on the choose icon here and then select the name of the app that you want to create an icon for. If you are on your iPad and you have the Apple Pencil, what is really cool is you don't have to type anymore, you can just write it out. So I'm going to do it for messages. Excuse my handwriting. <laughs> and once that is done, you're going to click on the three little dots here next to the new shortcut here at the top. And you're going to give a name to the shortcut. I like to just keep the same name as the app. So messages. And then you're going to click on add to home screen. And that's where the magic happens. You get to click on the icon here and select a photo. You can either choose a file, choose a photo, or take a photo. Uh, in most cases, you're just going to click on choose a photo, which is going to open up your camera roll. And I'm going to choose the message icon that I've created. Click on use. And you can see that I updated the icon. And the last thing you have to do is to change the label, because that's what's going to show up below the icon on the home screen. So I'm just going to call it again messages. And you click add. And see, added to home screen. We can check it out. And that's it, there it is. So I'll recap the steps with you real quick. Uh, we just click done. And then to create another one, we would go to my shortcuts, click on the plus icon here, then scripting, open app. Then you choose the app. Let's say I wanna do calendar, I already have it, but then you click on the three little dot here at the top. You give a name to your shortcut, calendar, then add to home screen. You select the icon, you rename everything, and you'll be good to go. So the question you might have right now is, how do you create your own custom icons? Because you might have a very specific aesthetic in mind, but you don't necessarily have the icons to do it. So what I did is I made a file with a bunch of generic icons, as well as some templates that you can use to actually create the icons, as well as the background. And that is totally free. You can get it from my website, which I will link in the description below. And I will quickly show you what is included in the freebie. So if you are using the iPad, you're going to locate the file using your file app here. And it's going to be a file called icon kit, but you can also do it on your computer. So what is in the icon kit? Well, you have a bunch of icons here. So you have black outlines, then you have the same icons in white outlines, which we won't see here, but um, same icons in solid black, and finally same icons in solid white, but again, we won't see. So you have 59 icons in four different styles, as well as two different type of templates. One for the actual app icon, as well as one for creating wallpapers with similar textures. Both templates are available in .procreate, which is a file for the Procreate app on iPad, as well as, uh, well, we don't see the extension here, but these two are for Photoshop. So if you on your computer, you can use the templates as well. But don't worry, if you don't have either Procreate or Photoshop, you can totally just use these icons here and import them in any software that you want to use for your design. For example, Canva, even Microsoft Paint, I guess you would be able to use. So whatever you have, you can make it work with this icon kit. I'm quickly going to show you how the templates work. 
I'll be using the Procreate one because I am on my iPad, but the Photoshop version is the exact same just for Photoshop. And when you open up the layers of the template, either in Procreate or Photoshop, you'll see that you have a bunch of different groups and different adjustment layers. Again, they're the same in both apps. The first one is for the icon. Then you have two options for the second step. You can either use this layer and fill with a solid color. So let's say I want it to be blue. I would just fill my layer and you're going to see it's going to pop out of blue. Or you can open up the group and pick a gradient. I would pick sunrise and you can see that now you have a gradient. In Procreate, there is an extra layer, which is the black and white layer. Just don't touch that one, leave it as is. And finally, you have the option to add your own custom background. So if there's a picture that you want to use, you can use it as a background. It's going to take the colors of either the gradient or the color fill here. Or you can pick one of the textures that I'm included with the template. So for example, we could use marble. So with this template, you can really quickly create a bunch of icons. To create all the ones that I use on my own iPad literally took me less than five minutes with this template, so it was really worth it. And again, it is totally free, so make sure you go and download it. I will link it in the description below. We also have a template for the background, which is essentially the same without the icon at the top. So you can create a wallpaper for your iPad or your phone with similar textures and similar colors. So again, this icon kit is totally free. You can download it from the link that I would put in my description below. And while you're there, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I put out new videos every week.